Hi and welcome back to Show Sales Classes. Today we are going to be dealing with some more problems and their solutions on the actual common entrance test. You can call us at the number given on the screen for any doubts, queries, or for more videos on our courses. The first sum says the a vector equals to 5 and k is a scalar such that k lies between minus 4 to 1 inclusive of minus 4 then the maximum value of mod k a vector is among the following options. Let's see how to do this. I'll try to do it in the easiest manner so that you can understand. Thus mod of k a vector equals to mod k into mod a vector. Notice since this is a modulus it is always greater than or equals to 0 or and less than equals to 4 into 5 which is equals to 20. Thus the maximum value of k a vector is equals to 20. Let's see which option corresponds with it. Thus the correct answer is option number D. Moving on to the next question the range of fx equals to cos inverse of x square 1 plus x square for real x is among the following options. Notice this is a critical question because it consists of two marks. Now let's see how to do this. This is the fx that is given to us. Thus for any real x it is clearly that x square plus 1 plus x square lies between 0 and 1 or putting this in the equation we find cos minus inverse of 1 less than cos inverse of x square by 1 plus x square which is less than cos inverse of 0 or saying in terms of fx fx is greater than 0 and less than equals to pi by 2. Thus the correct option will be option number A. It corresponds with the answer that we have derived. In the next question, if m be the slope of a tan tangent to the curve e to power y equals to 1 plus x square, then which of the following is correct? We, we need to solve this by differentiating m. Let's see how the process looks like. We can do this by dy by dx equals to m which is equals to 2x by 1 plus x square or mod of m equals to 2 mod of x whole divided by 1 plus mod of x whole square which is less than equals to 1 as 1 minus mod x whole square is greater than equals to 0 thus m lies between minus 1 and plus 1 that might correspond with Option number B. This is the correct answer. Moving on, we have a definite integral from 1 to e to power 17, 73 pi by x sin pi log x with base e dx. Let's again calculate this to figure out the answer. In this process, we first put z equals to log x with base e. So the given interval can be 0 to 73 pi sine of pi z dz which is equals to 2 as cos 73 pi equals to minus 1. Thus the answer is option number A. 
moving on to the next question on what sum will the simple interest of x years at x percent per annum be rupees x we can do this by let the requisite sum be p hence x equals to p into x into x or px square divided by 100 or p equals to 100 by x notice we need to assume x is not equals to 0 thus the option is option number d Now in the next question, we have if fx be a quadratic polynomial such that f0 equals to 2 and f0 equals to 3 and f double dash 0 equals to 4. Then the definite integral of fx ranging from minus 1 to 1 dx is equal to among the following options. Let's see what the answer looks like. Over here let fx equals to ax square plus bx plus c so f dash x equals to 2 ax plus b and f double dash x equals to 2a as per given conditions 2 equals to f0 which is equals to c assuming and 3 equals to f dash 0 which we assume as b and 4 equals to f double dash 0 which we assume it as equals to 2a thus the expression looks like I'll do this all in a new page so that you can see all the calculations together these values are taken in such an order so that a equals to 2, b equals to 3 and c equals to 2. Thus, fx dx ranging from minus 1 to 1 equals to integration minus 1 to 1, 2x square plus 3x plus 2 dx which is equals to 16 by 3. That is option number b moving on let c equals to the given and the d equals to the given matrix the number of possible values of a for which c square equals to d is the c square equals to a square 0 a plus 1 1 now we are given that c square equals to d which is equals to 1, 0, 7, 1. Thus, a square is equals to 1. Now, let's equate this. Thus, a plus 1 equals to 7, which contradicts each other. Hence, a is non-existent. that is option number D now if fx equals to tan 3x by sin 2x what is the limit of fx as x tends to 0 now in the next question we have fx equals to tan 3x sin 2x what is the limit of fx as x tends to 0 thus limit x tends to 0 tan 3x by tan of 2x equals to limit sine 3x where x tends to 0 by 3x okay I'll do this down below so that you can see the full equation this is what the equation will come now upon 
for the calculation we find the value of this is 3 by 2 which corresponds with option number C with this we come to the end of, um, of the mathematics section please like subscribe and click on the notification button because we're gonna be doing it for all the other parts of the questions you can contact us at the number given on the screen for any doubts of our full videos on our courses